Take a look at the New Mexico Highlands University defense there. First down and Pueblo dressed in their road white with red numerals and navy blue pants. Cowboys, of course, dressed in their home purple jerseys. They did wear their whites the last outing when Dixie State was in town. The quarterback is Lamphere. Lamphere is going to throw it out and immediately the first catch of the made out to the right side. Emin Johnson, who's got 13 passes this year already, make that 14 on the season, comes up with a reception. And the Thunder Wolves are going quick. John Riston, the head coach. Mike McCarty, the offensive coordinator, looking to get things going early here. The pass is going to be incomplete, thrown behind Nick Williams. So it's going to bring up third down here and about, let's call it six to go here for the Thunderwolves, making the four and a half hour trip down from Pueblo, down I-25, straight down. Down the Raton Pass, getting to Raton, and we're about an hour and a half thereabouts from the city of Raton. Just stay on I-25 all the way down. Toss it off to the right side, and this is going to be close to a first down. Looks like Michi was on the carry there. <clears throat> Austin Michi comes in up. 53 carries for 249 yards. Does have three touchdowns. Fourth and in inches. <clears throat> and they're going to kick it away. They travel very well. Pretty good look there. We got the cheerleaders in town, and I believe that's their dance team as well. They got the mascot as well here this afternoon. They take a good look at the Cowboy offense as they're ready to come onto the field. On that about the 38, and for the second time this afternoon, we'll see if we can show the CSU Pueblo offense one more time. And a led by their quarterback, Gunnar Lamp. Play resumes here, first down and 10 for Pueblo. First down and 10 at the 38 yard line. Thrown again behind the re intended receiver, Williams. That's the second time today the pass has gone behind. Second half of the season coming up. Looking for big things today here in Las Vegas. They're gonna throw it again, fly comes in and they'll blow it dead. Comes from the umpire. This usually means a procedure call. And that it is. Stubar, the right guard. So to bring up second down here in 15 for Pueblo. And Fears backed up. He sits right on about the 28 yard line. Same pass. Now a flight comes in in the backfield. Again, that was intended for Williams. This is thrown by the referee, or excuse me, by the head linesman nearest us. Here comes the call. And as we wait, here it is. Holding against Pueblo. So they back him up another 10 yards as they move backwards, as they are back into the south end here. Play action, little bubble screen off to the right. Gets up to the 30-yard line. That's Williams' first catch. They've thrown to him three straight times now. Must see something on that side of the football field that they like. Third down and 18 coming up for the Thunderwolves. Pinnock is now in the backfield. Stands to the right of Lanfear. Slides him over to the left side. 
Cowboys showing blitz. Here they come. Pressure. He's going to take off and run with it. Has a couple of blockers out in front. He's going to be stopped well short of the first down to about the 41. And let's see. They will send the punt team on. So Cowboys will get the football back here. Go down to Silver and or UNM. Busy group. Second down and about two to go here for Pueblo. Lamphere stands back. Read option, handoff, and it's going to be short by about a yard. Great job by the interior front of New Mexico Highlands to stuff that up. B.J. Edwards, who's in just about every tackle there is under the sun for New Mexico Highlands, was in on that one along with a host of other purple jerseys. Coming up at the half, very interesting interview. We'll tell you about that in a minute. Third down and a very short one. They're going to throw it. The rush is on. The pass is complete. Screen pass out to the right, and he's going to be shy by about a yard. Excuse me. I thought it was third and one. It was third and 11. I apologize for that. Pennick on the reception. Quickly, here comes Pueblo up to the line of scrimmage on fourth and one. Quarterback sneak. They're pushing it and believe they got it. So I apologize for that. Whenever I hear the word Ed Nunes, I get a little excited. Enjoying a rare Saturday off back in Albuquerque. A lot of big college football games going on around the nation. He's probably catching a few of them. The OU-Texas game, of course. LSU and Florida later on. Notre Dame-USC later on. That's always a good one. They're going to throw it again. Rolling out to the right. Looking downfield. Ball is caught. And out of bounds immediately. It looked like Sykes was on the carry. On the reception. Short pickup, they're saying, of about two yards. Oh, excuse me, that was a tight end, Preston Guerra. Well, referee's going to stop play here. Two minutes and 14 seconds here in the third, in the first. Getting ahead of myself. They're going to pitch it. Breaking some tackles, a 10. This is going to go into the end zone for a DJ Pennick touchdown, CSU Pueblo. So Pennick goes in from about 21 yards out. And the Thunderwolves draw first blood here in Las Vegas. It's 6 nothing. Point after coming up. Mitchell Carter does most of the kicking. In fact, does all the kicking here for Pueblo. Point after is up, and he just hit the John A. Wilson complex, which is about a half a mile away. But a little over two minutes to go here in the first football. So a very short field to work with here for the Thunderwolves. They have it at about the 23-yard line. They're going to throw it. They throw it in the end zone. Ball is high and complete. And intended out there for Williams. Shout out from Richmond Heights, Ohio. Jessica Anderson cheering for NMHU. Daryl McIntyre, number 86. We love you, Daddy. From Remy Eve, Baby O, and Mommy. Go get them. Thank you very much. That's pretty awesome. Two inches of snow Thursday up in Colorado. That's enough for me for the winter. I'm done. Yeah, when's the summer? So thank you, Jessica Anderson. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Here's a handoff going off to the left side, up the middle, pounding his way down to about the two-yard line. And it's first and goal for the Thunderwolves.
And they're quickly up to the line of scrimmage. Band coming in motion. They're going to run it again, and this time the Cowboys do an excellent job stuffing that one. James Buchanan all over that. Northwest Indiana is cheering for Ramon Atkins, Indiana's number one high school quarterback two years straight. Thank you very much for that. Great state of Indiana, the Hoosier State. Coming off to the right side, and he slipped at the five. So it's going to bring up third and goal. Northwest Indiana. Trying to, yeah, trying to. Five-yard penalty assessed against the Mexico Highlands. They'll assess it now. Offsides, Highlands on the kickoff. So it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line for Pueblo. Michi in back in the game as the tailback. Twins out to the near side here for Pueblo. They're going to give it to him. Well, he's going to keep it. He's all by himself on the left side. That's Lamphere. And finally run out of bounds. Pretty good fake inside to Michi. And it's first down. They'll keep the clock ticking. Three minutes and 17 seconds hit left here. So they have it at the 37-yard line. Then Pierre again will come under center. Twins out this side. This time they will give it to Michi, and he'll get maybe a yard. The Cowboy interior defensive line. Lang is the injured player for Highlands, and he's being... Well, he just to say he's walking up under his own power onto the sideline, so that's good news. They'll take a look at him. But he is up and he is fine. Hand off. Michi right up the middle gets to about the 30. And stopped immediately there. Third down and about three to go. I think this will be four down territory here for Pueblo if they don't get it. Jordan Gallegos from Las Vegas, Nevada. Way of right here in Las Vegas, New Mexico on the stop. And a first down as Michi picks it up. Lawrence making the stop for Highlands. One minute, 58 seconds. Here in the first half. Lamphere will be in the gun this time. Michi lined up behind him. He's going to keep it. Rolling out to the left. He's being rushed. Gets out of the grasp and throws it away. Lawrence is right there. Just couldn't get him down. And it's third down and ten coming up. One thirty to go, excuse me, second down and ten. This time Lamphere is going to go under center. Rolling out to the right, has a man out there caught, 20, tripped up and dropped at about the 16-yard line. Anthony Barron making the reception. 
And it's first down as they mark it down at the 16. Minute four to go here. Give it to Michi, and he gets inside the 15 to about, well, right at the 15, they say. With 48 seconds left. Timeout's going to be taken. 48 seconds here till intermission. 21 7 Thunderwolves when we come back. Welcome back to Las Vegas, New Mexico, everybody. 48 seconds to go here to intermission. Pueblo on the drive. As they have it second down from the 15 yard line. Play action, drop in, great protection in the end zone over the head, incomplete. And it's third down. Third down and nine coming up. <laughs> well, within field goal range, if they don't pick it up here. Van Fear ready. And Pueblo moved. Sean Johnson getting started a little bit too early. Backs him up five. And from the Villa Sanchez Family Stadium, a.k.a. the Perk. It's 21-7 Pueblo. Talk to you in about 15 minutes. In any event, it's first down for CSU Pueblo. Drive will start on the eight-yard line. Twins out to the right. Cowboys showing blitz. And this handoff is going nowhere as the Cowboys get into the backfield and stuff it out. A loss of about two or three yards on the play. It's backed up to the five. Second down, 13, they'll call it. <coughs> Twins out to the right side again for Pueblo. Hand off again, and looking to bust it out is Pennick. Pennick will get to about the nine. And it's third down here and about eight yards to go. Third and about eight coming up here for CSU Pueblo. That other CSU team rolled into Albuquerque last night and beat the Lobos. This CSU team trying to make it a sweep. Drop in looking, stepping up, still looking. He's running out of time and dropped. Great job by the Cowboys secondary again. That's a secondary sack. And give them some credit for picking that up. Gutierrez on the tackle, number 99. First down and 10 for CSU Pueblo. They have it at the 25. 7.54 to go here in the third period. You see the clock is back up on the screen. Jude, our camera guy up above, using a lot of scotch tape and pro wrap and pre wrap and name it. Ball's tipped. And there was a cowboy in the area. Willie Morris just a step behind it. So it's second and 10 back at the 25. Twenty-one nothing was the score, Pueblo, and then the Cowboys scored late in the second quarter and just put up another one. They're gonna run in reverse. There goes Diggs. The Cowboys have it sniffed out. Look at this. We got a lot of purple around him, and he got nowhere. And I'm gonna tell you who blew that up. Trajan Lawrence, number 90 for Highland, just flat out blew that up. 
And then the troops arrived, and it's a big loss for Pueblo. And it's third down here. They'll run the draw. And Michi gained maybe a couple. The Cowboys hold. And the Cowboy defense comes up big there, and it's fourth down and 15. So the Thunderwolves dodge a bullet, but the Cowboys are able to move the football, all for naught in this case, but first down and 10 at the 20 with 150 here in the third. And Fear rolling. Throws a dart, and it is incomplete. Intended for Max Fine. Second down and call it 10 here. Read option, they'll run it. And it's going to bring up third down and eight. Lawrence having himself a pretty good afternoon here defensively for Highlands. Alabama leads Texas A&M now 24-10. Clemson rolling over Florida State 28-0. Looking to throw it out. Throws the out. Ball is going to be incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down. Fine was the intended receiver. Again, the pass was underthrown. And the punt team comes on. Mudro's going to drop back. And El Arrio's also going to check. And it's second down and 10. Second down and call it 10. Handoff, Michi. He gets to the 15. Third down here coming up. Call it third down and about seven to go here, seven or six. As Ramon Atkins runs in for Highlands on defense. Wind kind of swirling around just in case we're thinking about it. They're going to toss it to Michi. Michi, and it's fourth down. Now, again, we got some extracurricular activity, but it's broken up. And here comes a field goal team. Well, Mitchell Carter is coming on. Wind is actually blowing across more of a west to east type wind. To the northeast, if you will. Carter eyeing it. 32 yard attempt. Kick is on the way. The kick is up. The kick is good. Mitchell Carter comes up big for Pueblo. And with 11 04 to go, extends the lead. Pueblo 24, New Mexico Highlands 14. You're watching Cowboy football. Off up the middle, the five into the end zone, touchdown, CSU Pueblo, DJ Pennick. Ten points in a matter of about five seconds here for Pueblo, pending the extra point. Point after coming up, what a turn of events. It was 21 nothing, 21 14, and suddenly right now it's 30 to 14 pending the extra point, which is up and it is good with 10.52 to go. 
And suddenly it's 31-14. Pueblo, you're watching Cowboy football. Side, right on his hip, and here's the touchdown run. And that made it, after the extra point, made it 31 4 Up with the pick. As it looked like Atkins kind of threw that under duress a little bit. And they'll have it right at the 50-yard line. With 9.07 to play here. Cowboys again home next week. So if you can make it up to lock, they're going to throw it. And it's out of bounds. Second down and 10 here. One of the trainers from CSU Pueblo is on the far side tending to the official. There you see our official sponsor of printing and other needs for New Mexico Highlands, Zeppel Office Products. They do a great job, even if you're not from Las Vegas. You might want to get down that phone number. They do a great work. Hand off. And getting back to the line of scrimmage, I mean, just barely was Michi. Now it's battle with the clock for New Mexico Highlands. Third and ten. Third down and ten coming up. And the Cowboys jumped out of bounds. Offsides, excuse me. They're just going to let this one go. It's going to be intercepted. But they stopped the play. They whistled it dead before it got off. And the reason they stopped it was exactly that reason. You heard the referee say, with contact. So it's third down and five now. Rolling out to the right, looking, passes high. Most of the passes today by Lamphere have been high. Don't know, again, if it's because of the wind or he's just a little bit off with them. In any event, it's fourth down and five coming up for Pueblo. Make the four-and-a-half-hour trip back up I-25. Hardest part about that trip is just getting up the Raton Pass. Pueblo's going to have it first and 10 at about the 33-yard line with 5.17 to go. Taking a look at some quick scores, Alabama. In the third, leaves Texas A&M 27-13. Clemson rolling for Florida State 35-0. Wisconsin all over Michigan State 17-0. Arizona State over Washington State. Baylor losing to Tech early 6-3. Cincy over Houston. The big game, of course, Georgia went down this afternoon. The number three team in the nation. I'm sure that's going to make Alabama fans happy. As Pinnock is the ball carrier. Florida and LSU later on. USC and Notre Dame later on. Penn State, Iowa later on. Big games going on. Second down here and about six to go. Cowboys showing blitz. Here they come. And they get in and into the backfield, making the big time stop. That's Simmons again. And we got ourselves another penalty. On sportsmanlike penalty against Highlands, number 42, Jordan Gallegos. They're saying that's his first. Get two of them and you're dismissed. That's a 15-yard penalty, and what would have been third and 12 is a first and 10. So 
So they have it at the 48-yard line as they wind the clock as soon as the ball is set. Lamphere awaits the snap again with Pennock lined up to his right. They'll give it to him. He comes outside. Chased down as the ball comes out, but it was blown dead. Atkins ran him down. And it's another first down for the Thunderwolves. First and 10 from the 39 yard line. Twins out to the right side. Pennick stays in the game at running back. And this time, Lamphere is going to keep it. And he slides down at, at the 35 yard line. And he stays in bounds. It's second down and about six to go here. They're taking a long time to get the play in. Now the line judge has thrown a flag. This might be against the Highlands bench. A lot of scrambling going on down there right below us. Here comes the call. This is going to be very interesting. And that's exactly what it is. It goes against the Highlands bench and a 15-yard penalty. Marty Fine isn't disagreeing with it. Timeout Highlands. So let's take a break and we'll sort it all out. Marty Fine, the great coach he is, he'll settle down the troops and get them playing again. We'll be right back. <laughs> 